Hey, what's up? I'm Ali from Epic Grind Shoes, and I'm here to answer a bunch of your questions that you've been asking over the last couple of weeks since we launched. We are Epic Grind Shoes. That is a high quality sneaker or shoe that you can do everything you would normally do on a pair of shoes, except with these, you can also jump on things and grind them. Jump on rails, ledges, uh, edges, trees, whatever you want. This has a high quality fiberglass nylon plate in the center of the sole, which allows you to grind. Here are some of the questions we've been having. Where can you find these shoes? Well, we sell them directly from our website at epic-grindshoes.com and we ship all over the world. However, we are based in Germany, so depending on where you are, the shipping could be expensive. So we also ship to shops all over the world. If you check our website, there'll be a store locator on the front page where you can check to see if there's a store near you. Um, also, you can check in the bio of our social media or in the text below this video and you'll see store locator or a link directly to the shop. Um, any shop that sells PowerSlide products can also order these in for you. We've been getting a lot of question about sizing. Now, in my opinion, these fit true to size, but if you check the store page for every shoe, you will find a size chart. On that size chart is a Mondo millimeter size chart. That means you can measure your foot and it will match exactly to the size of the shoe you need. So you, all you need to do is know the size of your feet by millimeter, check that size chart and you can't go wrong with the sizing. Will we be making bigger sizes? Well, we have had a lot of requests for people with larger feet than the sizes we do. So we've talked to the factory and we can confirm that we will be making a bigger shoe size. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be one size bigger or two or more, we'll have to see, but uh, it will take a few months yet and that will be available in the Stomper shoe. We will make larger sizes. Will we be doing a vegan model? So many people have asked that question and uh, I personally, I really do care about animal welfare. I've loved animals all my life and it's something that goes along with our, our ideals. So while none of the four of these first launch shoes are vegan, we are making a vegan shoe due to popular demand and also because we want to. So that will take some time, but yes, there will be a vegan shoe coming. Is the backslide plate replaceable? The backslide plate is not replaceable and we did this for a reason. First of all, we have over 20 years in grinding material experience. We've been making aggressive skates for a long, long time. So we know the perfect material that's long lasting and smooth sliding. And so and that's what we've done to this and this will be a long lasting plate. It can even take a really deep groove. We didn't want to make it replaceable because that adds weight, it adds nuts, bolts, and it also makes the shoe less flexible. So we wanted to keep it lightweight and we think that, well, the riders have been using these for months and months and they're still going strong. So as long as you use wax on what you're skating, that will also prolong the life. So the groove is not replaceable, but it's a very tough groove. Can you use these for regular walking? Yes, you can absolutely use these for regular walking. In fact, you will notice no difference to when you are wearing regular shoes. They're extremely high quality, they are very comfortable, and even though you have a groove in the middle, we've done away with screws and internal parts, so they still flex perfectly as a normal shoe. Some riders have said that when walking up and down stairs, you can have a little slip if you catch the corner of the step. Personally, it doesn't happen to me because I always walk on tiptoes on steps, I don't know why, but you, that's one of the small things you have to take care of um, because you obviously have a slippy surface in the center. But generally speaking, any type of walking on this with regular use is completely fine. You won't notice a difference. Are these shoes clumpy and heavy? No, they're not. Even though in the past there were grind shoes and they were chunky, they had very thick soles, they were very heavy. Um, one of the main things we wanted to do when we brought back the grind shoe phenomena was to make them as light as possible. We didn't want to make some awkward heavy thing. So these are substantially lighter than any grind shoes in the past. They just weigh like regular shoes. Um, the sole is thin and the walking is responsive. So they are not at all chunky. They're actually quite light. What's right for me, high tops or low tops? 
Well, a lot of the riders are really happy with the high tops because they give that extra ankle support, or at least you feel a little bit more secure knowing that your ankle is tight. And you can also tighten the laces right to the top uh, to enhance that ankle support. Um, however, it's not a massive difference and the high tops are about 50 grams heavier than the low tops, which is not a lot to be fair. The low tops are easy to get on, easy to get off, and obviously you have a great, um, great amount of movement in them. So uh, I would say on the team, most of the riders prefer the high tops, but we have a couple of riders that prefer the low tops. And in the end, it's also just about what you think looks better, what you prefer. So there's not a huge difference, but the added ankle support might give you that little bit more confidence. How long will these shoes last me? Well, we wanted to go top tier on our materials for these shoes. We wanted people to be um, impressed and we're using very thick suede uh, that's abrasive resistant as well as an anti-shock, strong long lasting sole and fiberglass nylon grind plates. So this is like the toughest of the tough. Um, this is gonna last you a long time. They are strong, they're scuff resistant their strong shoe and then this one also the high top has tpu welding on the sides and on the toe which is very abrasive resistant as well so you can really like scuff this up a lot and it's going to last um so the inner materials are also high quality and the padding uh, the foam is not just some cheap production this is a very expensive high quality shoe production so they will literally last as long <laughs> as you could Imagine for a pair of shoes that involves jumping on things with that's we just made them as strong as they could be Did we know that soap shoes already existed and have we just copied them? So a lot of people are like hey guys, do you know soap already exists? Soap existed like over 20 years ago and we were all big fans of the brand those of us that are old enough also had soaps and we loved them. In fact, one of our main team riders um, got a pair of soaps and started doing videos with them and as a group of friends, we were all kind of jealous and I couldn't find any of my size and it is very, very hard to find soap shoes. So we decided, hey, why don't we just bring it back? Why don't we like make an improvement on them and start our own brand? So that's what Epic is. Epic is a group of people that were fans of grind shoes and that wanted to make our own. And what we've done is we've made them lighter. Uh, we've made them, well, they're super tough. The soles are thinner. The grind plate is pushed more to the center, which is more natural, makes them easier to use. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more uh, knowledge of uh, grinding materials, so we've also implemented that. Uh, we've got the anti-shock insole. Um, we basically just wanted to make an improved, lighter version of something we know existed, and we wanted to bring the grind shoe movement back because we think it's really, really cool and it's really good fun. Also, sports have developed a lot since those days. You have free running and parkour that weren't really around on a large scale when soaps were out. So it's a great time to bring them back. We're excited, and yes, we know they existed, and this is a, it's almost a tribute to them. So I hope I've been able to answer some of your questions. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to write them in comments or send us a private message. Um, we'll be more than happy to help out. And I know a lot of you are getting your pre-orders now or thinking about getting them. So thank you so much for all your support. We think that this could be huge. I mean, you could combine this with so many different sports. Uh, you can design, you can imagine something completely new. You can be a pioneer of this movement. And it's just, we're, we can't wait to see what you do with them. Uh, if you can also check in our bio or in the text below this video, um, the link to find shops, to find our, our website, more information about the shoes or about our team, uh, anything you need, let us know. Um, I just hope that you have as much fun as we've been having and I'm sure you will because it's just a blast.